confidence. As astronaut Shepard goes through the pre-launch countdown, he knows the system is as ready as human effort can make it. Doctors in the Mercury Control Center and the blockhouse monitor Shepard's physiological status during the countdown. Astronaut Gordon Cooper, assigned to the blockhouse during the launch operation, stays in direct voice contact with Shepard. As the gantry is pulled back, the emergency vehicle known as the Cherry Picker is raised into position. An armored car is located at the pad. It can operate in any terrain. At the viewing stands about two miles away, hundreds of press, radio, and television representatives stand by to witness the launch. A helicopter stands by to take a doctor anywhere he might be needed. Astronauts Carpenter and Shira take off to make direct aerial observation of the early portion of your flight. An amphibious vehicle is standing by, ready to move out if necessary to make a close-in recovery. The Recovery Force helicopters are airborne. All elements of the mission have reported ready to the control center, and the launch is go. at about 115 mile altitude. The spacecraft landed 300 miles downrange. The complete flight took 16 minutes and gave Alan Shepard about five minutes of weightlessness. Just 11 minutes after the spacecraft landed, Shepard and the craft were on the Lake Champlain. Complete and detailed information on the flight and on Alan Shepard was recorded from launch to recovery information to be made available to scientists and interested people the world over. Within minutes after the flight, Shepard received a well done from the President on behalf of the people of the United States. A well done accepted by Shepard as a representative of all the people in Project Mercury. Project Mercury, 
another step in man's search for knowledge. Freedom 7, another step toward man in space.